passed on the newsstand right now. You got time to talk? Bet. I'll be right there. What's good, everybody? And welcome back to another session of FG2G Girl Talks. Now, today's topic is all about the victim mentality versus the victor mentality. And where do we go from here? All right, so just some really quick, simple definitions. A victim is, is somebody who basically was hurt from a circumstance or a person. In other words, they have, um, they have suffered to some degree from something, all right? And then a victor is someone who has gone up against some kind of opponent, but they overcame. In other words, they won. And then lastly, a mentality is it's the way you think. It's what you tell yourself. Um, it's it's self-talk. So first and foremost, you know, this is just, you know, this is a disclaimer. We're not talking about victims today. You know, we're talking about people who actually just carry around a victim mentality. Those are two totally different things. Because in actuality, we've all, you know, suffered from something to some degree at some point. And it's a, it's a very real thing. So don't ever dismiss your experience. Don't ever uh, dismiss how you felt and, you know, the effects that it had. Okay? We have to acknowledge that. That's what my pastor always says. We have to acknowledge it so that we can heal from it. So that we can properly and effectively move forward. So it's one thing to be a victim of circumstance. It's altogether different to carry that mentality and to wallow in it. So we're talking about the people with that mentality. Okay, I just wanted to make that clear. So victim versus victor. If you even just look at the words, they have the very same beginning, right? The same beginning, but two totally different endings. Okay, and your ending can be totally different. It's just all in how you identify yourself. All right, so with the victim, the last two letters are I am. What does that spell? It spells I'm. Someone with a victim mentality a lot of times identifies themselves as I'm hopeless. I'm helpless. I'm suffering. I'm, I'm always at the, at the bottom of the totem pole. I'm always getting the short end of the stick. Ugh, you know, I'm just, I'm never going to do this or I'm never going to do that. I'm the one that's suffering. I don't have anything to change. I don't have any responsibility to get up and, and be somebody because it's always them. They need to change. That needs to change. So I'm just going to sit here. Because why? Because I'm the victim. Have you ever met somebody who is like they're always singing a sad song? Like you've heard it a lot. And it don't even change. It's like you told me that like two months ago like you keep telling me these things like for example you you might ask some people how you doing and then here, here you go well uh, um, never mind never mind so, sometimes you have to leave people alone because they're always singing the same sad song and it's like it's not that I don't care. It's not that I don't love you. It's not that I don't want to be a listening ear. But you keep saying this over and over and over again. Like, do you ever have a good day? Like, never mind. Like, you bringing me down. Ne never mind. Like, at this point, if I stop responding to your messages, you know why. If I don't even open them, you know why. If I don't really want to carry on conversation, you know why. Like, you're bringing me down. It's always a Never mind. Like I said, it's not that I don't care. It's not that I don't love you. But some people have a victim mentality and it's just always woe is me. And that's not good. That's not good. So victim, I am. I'm this. I'm that. Oh, I'm just, oh. Just saying. And you being a victim has an expiration date. If you're seeking your healing... Your days of being a sufferer or, or, or being a victim, it has an expiration date. And, you know, how many know if you eat expired food or drink expired drinks, you run the risk of getting sick? Same thing here. 
What are you feeding yourself? What expired mindsets are you allowing yourself to wallow in? Because just as food and drink can make you sick if it's expired, your mentality can make you sick as well. What are you eating? What are, what's in your cabinet? What are you feeding yourself? What are the lies you keep telling yourself? Victim. Hmm. And then you got Victor. Like I said, same beginning. Starting off at the same place. But the ending is altogether different. What does it have? It has an O-R. O-R spells what? Or. And then when you see the word or, usually it's an indication that there's multiple options. As in, you know, you can get with this or you can get with that. I can wallow in my pain. Yes, I was, I was hurt. I was affected. I can wallow in that or I can win. It's all in, in, in what you choose to do. So where you go from here has everything to do with what you identify with right now. You can be a victim or you can be a victor, but you cannot be both. It's one thing to be hurt and to acknowledge that that's where, you, where you've been, that's where you are right now. And, and seek healing is altogether different when you just want to sit there. But you've been, you've been called to be so much more. That's not the ending for you. You, you. you have been called to be more than a conqueror. You can be victorious. All right? So know that, act like it, and win. Okay? Win.